Hi there, and welcome back to chapter 7, lecture number 15. So we created this window frame, um, and we applied to material. So when we go to material preview, you can see this uh, window. And we have a very low normal value, because if you use the default value, it looks very, well, not what I expect from a window. It's, uh, this is more smooth. So what we can do is flatten it a little bit, as y because it's, uh, it was a little bit too thick. All right, so I like to make some frames so we can make, uh, well, this window, a, a tall window, and uh, a different wideness uh, of the window. So let's do that. So I will add a new mesh plane, press R, X90, and we'll go to the Y frame where we drag this object over there, we scale it, and we want to measure this with the, with the window, I think we are cool, and scale it a bit more, and press I, and scale this inside of the, the window, press X, and remove the main face, Control L, so we have the frame selected, press E, something like this and just GY to put this right there and go to the material preview to check if that's solid yes and we want to put a uh, texture on, or add a material on the window frame window frame and let's take a look what we have and to do go to window and I have multiple textures and I like to have this white texture and we need to what's the best approach uh, let's go for a uh, U box projection Q pro I always say box but I think in the previous version it was called Q projection without a change to box so sort of a habit okay let's say it's a window window zero one border that one. So what I like to do is select these objects too, and I want to put it right there in the rough area, right there. And for these, I want to uh, merge them together, B, and rotate it. Press holding Control to have more control on the snapping. Sort of inside of these, so we have, yeah, we want to have the other side and we want to rotate this as well, holding control. I'm putting it right there and the bottom one as well. And we rotate it. Look at that. I like it. So what we can do if we don't like it, you can pick it on a, a different uh, border texture because these are the same. They're sharing the same material. Um, I think the brown one fits better for this uh, texture. We also have to tweak the shading and duplicate it. And we want to have the roughness, and we keep it with the roughness. Uh, I think maybe have a normal as well. Add a vector normal map, and select the image. There it is. But I will use a very smooth color. And we're putting it into the normal. Yeah, it's too bumpy in my opinion. Let's go for a value of 0 0.4, 0 0.3. And lower the specularity just a little bit. And grab it. G Y. And I want to add a bevel line. So control L, we have everything selected. And control B. Control B. And just one edge line. Lovely. 
So look at that. So this is one window frame. And I want to create a taller version. So let's duplicate this frame. And um, I want to duplicate the window. It needs to be inside of the frame. And we go to the wireframe and we size this to this size. What we need to do is select the size because we increase them. And it seems like that one and that one needs to be taller. Inside we do not have. Oh, we do have detection. And we should rotate that one. Right. All right, all right. So how we do this is um, we go to this view, and I like to have to count. Let's go to the wireframe. We duplicate this and we zoom in control Z D and Z so we are on the same uh, level and now we need to delete it X vertices and even more X vertices control Z that was too much only the bottom part X vertices and we select it, Control L, G, Z. And let's delete this area as well. Vertices. And that part. And now we stick them together. And we need to lower this a little bit. And go to the material preview. It's not visible at all. So we have a taller window. And I want to make a, a smaller one. So duplicate it. G X and duplicate that one, the window, and grab the frame. And we put in oh just like that. And I want to delete this area. All right, so we have a smaller frame. All right, all right. And I'm watching this and I think we also need to, uh, what I'd like to do is uh, duplicate this, and move this upwards, oh, GZ, and we delete this area, vertices. And then we drag this downwards. Delete these and now we merge them together and lower the frame because this window was too tall, in my opinion. Material preview. There is some interface. This needs to be a bit lower. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Alright, so we have this. Uh, square window, the tall window, and the rectangle window. We also need to add a concrete border around it so we can merge this into the, um, the building, but that's something for the next lecture. Thanks for watching and see you there. Bye-bye.